Hey there guys and welcome to Tech Engineer. Today we're going to be talking about operating systems and the five things that you need to consider when deciding which OS to put on your computer. So let's get started. So first let's answer the question what is an operating system? The operating system is the software that controls really all the other software in your computer and also has some hardware control capabilities. It's designed to be the base of the computer's processing and allows you to interface with the computer more easily than using machine code, basically changing the computer to where it's built to complete whatever task you want it to complete. So we use operating systems because we can build a standard computer, throw an operating system on it, and it allows us to queue up, schedule tasks, and just interface with the computer and operating systems have grown to be more and more user friendly, allowing your average consumer to use them and they don't even realize kind of what the operating system is doing, that's just how they use the computer. And the operating system plays the biggest role in user experience since it is how you directly interface with the computer and complete your computing tasks. So it's a very important decision and honestly there aren't a whole lot of choices when it comes to the operating system on the computer so it can be an easier decision. Or if you're kind of a middle ground user, it could be a very difficult decision. And if the OS doesn't fit the user, then the user will definitely be very frustrated because they won't be able to do exactly what they need or how they want to do it. Today, we're gonna to be mainly talking about the big three operating systems, and that is Windows, Mac OS, and all of the Linux distributions, basically. We're gonna group them into one. So the first thing that you need to consider is your use for this operating system. If you're a gamer, you basically have one option, and that is to go with Windows. Now, some people argue that Linux might be better for gaming because it is a lighter weight operating system, thus giving you more performance. However, I think performance optimizations within Windows really improve it for gaming, not to mention all games are made for Windows and Linux has a very limited library of games that you can play and it's basically limited to Valve games plus a couple others. Now, if you're coding, then you might wanna use Linux because Linux kind of allows you to have kind of a free open space to test and write your software. And for Linux, generally my rule of thumb is if you don't know that you need Linux, you don't need Linux. Because most people that are going to be doing this type of software stuff are just going to know what exactly they need and why they need to use Linux. So Linux is generally just something that most users don't need to worry about. But, I mean, it is a good option for coding and other such stuff. And macOS was generally designed for content creators and kind of general users that needed a better user experience. However, I think that content creators are better off using Windows just because of software availability and compatibility. And just Apple's kind of trimmed down their operating system to not be as friendly to content creators. However, if you're an amateur content creator, a lot of things are easier on an Apple computer, so you might want to get started using an Apple computer and look at moving to a Windows-based workstation in the future to where you can get some more performance and get some better software compatibility and feature sets for your content creation. Now, general users, they might want to go with macOS just because they're going to be using it for email, surfing the web, and they just want it to be super user-friendly and not fail that often and be a really reliable OS, and then you might want to go with macOS and buy an Apple computer. The second thing that we need to consider is the cost of the computer. Generally, Windows is going to cost you anywhere from $100 to $120 for the home edition and like around $200 for the professional edition of their operating system. And you just buy that, load it on your computer, and you're good to go. You enter your key in, and yeah, that's it. With macOS, the only way to get it is to buy an Apple computer, and that kind of raises the upfront cost because of the large amount of money that Apple computers cost. They're more expensive machines, therefore you're kind of having to invest in the machine to get the operating system. So if you think that the Mac OS will fit you, you're going to be limited to Apple computers, whereas Windows, you can buy all kinds of computers with Windows on it or put it on your own custom-built computer. Now Linux you can find on some computers, but mainly it's going to be for download because Linux is free and that makes it the lowest cost solution. So I guess coders and software engineers and People that just like using Linux are rejoicing because it's free, but it, most Linux distributions are open source and they're just free to download and load onto your computer. So if you're needing something super cheap and need to get your computer up and running and you need to go for like the lowest cost possible, 
you might want to think about getting Linux and just know that it might not be as user friendly as a lot of other operating systems but hey, it's free. The third thing that you need to consider, which I kind of touched on a little bit when talking about Mac OS and our first thing to consider is the usability. The usability of the computer is very different between these operating systems. The usability of Windows generally falls somewhere in the middle. It's kind of what everybody's familiar with, but it's not generally the best built. Mac OS is generally gonna be the easiest to use, whereas Linux is going to be the hardest because sometimes software downloads and stuff in Linux require you to use the Unix terminal, and general users are gonna have a hard time with that, whereas Mac OS, most things are just kind of click and drag However you logically think you can accomplish a task in the operating system is generally how you accomplish the task in the operating system. So yeah, if you want super usability and stuff, I'd go with Mac OS, honestly. And then Windows comes in second, then Linux is probably the least usable. But Linux being the least usable also makes it the most customizable, which is our fourth thing to consider is how customizable it is which I think that Windows and Mac OS kind of tie there. Windows does have some like color change features with the taskbars and stuff, which kind of puts it ahead of Mac OS, but they're basically the same. Whereas Linux, I mean, if you know how to code and write software and stuff, you can really do anything with Linux. You can change how the entire operating system looks. You can make it look totally different from somebody else's distribution of Linux and they just all look different and you can write your own distribution of Linux if you want and just use the open source Linux kernel and yeah it's definitely the most customizable like literally the sky is the limit on Linux if you have the knowledge. That's kind of where everything falls. I wouldn't really consider the difference in customizability between Mac OS and Windows but Linux definitely is far above both of those in customizability. The next thing to consider is if you can't decide between any of these operating systems and you want to run two operating systems, you could always dual boot the computer where you utilize some type of software to have both OS's on the computer. My favorite way to do that is basically to use a Linux distribution that's very simple and like trimmed down to be your boot manager essentially and have your computer set to boot into that and then utilize that to select whether you want to boot into any other operating system that you put on it. And it doesn't even have to be limited to any of the ones that we've talked about in this video. There are tons of operating systems. I mean, Temple OS is one that's kind of turned into an internet joke, but it's totally different from any of these operating systems and not really related to them in any way. But yeah, dual booting is a way that you can get an experience on both and maybe you want to work on your code projects in a Linux environment and you want to have that on your computer, but you also want to play games in Windows. So why not dual boot? And you just have both of those partitioned on the computer and you basically just have two computers on your one computer and you choose just which one you want to go to. So if you can't decide, you might want to go with that. It is a bit harder to set up than just throwing an operating system on the computer or just buying a computer with the operating system on it because you'll have to reinstall the operating systems if you want to dual boot, except for Apple. If you want to do Apple and Windows, Mac OS has Boot Camp installed on it where you can actually set that up in the Mac OS operating system. So that is one thing that is a plus side to Mac OS is that it has Boot Camp and you can find similar things in the Windows environment, but generally the best way is just to do what I said and just use, I think they call it Grub, is the most common Linux distro that people use to dual boot, but use that to install both your operating systems. And yeah, that's really only for advanced users though. I wouldn't recommend that for your general user unless you really just want to give it a shot and learn some things about computers, which is kind of how I learned things about computers. I probably did things that weren't too smart, but I did them and I learned from them. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that. I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it kind of gave you some insight into operating systems and helped you decide which operating system best fits you and your computer. If you did like it, leave a like on this video. If you like the content on this channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you have advice for future content that I can make, leave that in the comment section below. Gosh, dang it, my computer is giving me notifications. Go away, stop it. Okay, leave your advice in the comment section below, check out the videos on the end screen, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hey, no, no, no.